Good morning. So, it's like Sunday morning. I think it's like 9.15ish. And I am just like now like getting up up. Like I've been awake since like 7. But like now I'm like up. Trying to do something actually instead of like laying down and like procrastinating. Um... <laughs> I don't know what this video is going to be about, but I just figured I'd pick up the camera and start recording. So here we are. Um, basically what I want to do today, or what I want to plan, but I've been procrastinating as to how to start, is kind of just like do a reset. Like I just need to reset. I feel like I'm losing my ground. I got to get my feet regrounded on the concrete or whatever and try again because sometimes I feel like this way when I'm about to start this like weird cycle of like indecisiveness and like feeling like my life's up it's a whole like cycle so it's just like you know what I'm gonna catch myself while I'm here in this state of mind and try to reset I know I can do this so um basically what I have to do or planned or kind of like made mental notes and kind of wrote things down um because i like to do that i like to plan things in order to like my way of <laughs> my way of procrastination is to plan and plan and plan forever until infinity but i'd like never do it so yeah basically <laughs> with that with all that being said i want to basically wash my hair my hair is a hot mess i just took down a, um braids that i had in for about three weeks and my head obviously didn't like that i knew my hair hates when i get braids because some of my hair you know shedding and it just starts to fall out and then i get damaged up because i don't wash my hair when it's in a braid because i just feel like it's weird and gross and that water is just gonna sit within the braid if you know what i mean so i have to wash my hair um kind of get i just need i just need a shower and wash my hair pretty much realistically i want to give my dog a shower and also give him his flea medication the other is clean my room and sort of like just meal prep but like not meal prep where it's like sad like i want to eat good food i just want to make sure that i'm not like spending every day eating out because i need to save some money so yeah so basically i'm trying or not trying i'm planning on moving out in like two months and like my mind like doesn't want to do anything because i feel like i can't do anything until i've moved out which is like utter nonsense of course another way of me like making up shit in my head just to like procrastinate because i love to do that um but um i just want to like kind of like get myself like a jump start or something or like doing something now that my self would thank me for two months later in advance, you know, that I did it early, if that makes sense. Like, I want to get a jump start on whatever it is that my life could possibly be, which is, like, exciting, but also, like, scary, because I don't know, like, what to do or what that is. Like, um, I, like, try buying stuff to, like, prep myself for, like, a new place, but, like, it's, like, but I don't want to buy anything, because I don't know if it's going to mess with, like, the the style of the house or whatever you know what i mean so like because i want like my next place to be like a total vibe for like it, like you know what i mean if i'm moving out i'm moving out with a purpose like i could just stay here you know and live with my my family and stuff but like i need to change i need to up i need to change something so i don't know what i was getting at but i do need to go shower so i'm gonna go shower get into this utterly disgusting scalp and um try to like regain some sort of like enthusiasm or energy because right now i'm down and i don't know if i should make coffee i probably should but uh, then i gotta clean the coffee pot so yeah yeah all right so i'm fully showered now fully <laughs> I washed my hair, there's no product in it. I don't know what to do with it um, yet thus far. I'm in this weird, awkward stage because I'm trying to grow it out and make it healthy. You know, I'd love for it to be long and voluminous and curly, but um, 
I've been having a whole hair journey that, you know, I'll probably talk about one of these days, but yeah, we're just going to ignore this. It's going to air dry or something's going to happen to it. Once I figure out what I'm going to do to my hair, then I'll do it. Um, but at least I'm clean. I basically put on just like a shirt and some pants. I honestly, every, like, if I'm home, I always strive for like comfy like I don't like I'm not going anywhere and nobody's coming to home to my house to look at me it's always gonna be comfy and I love these shirts specifically they're like this thick not thick but semi thick enough um rib knit ribbed knit um cotton kind of like um it's kind of like a crop top tank top and I love these because I don't have to wear a bra with them and I I'm a sucker for any type of clothing that does not require me to wear a bra because I, I like, I cannot. I refuse and I don't want to. So nine times out of ten, if I'm at home, I'm in one of these shirts in many colors. I'm gonna probably buy some more because I hate how they start to like pill and have like these like white, like, what is it called? What is it called? Like lint volley thingies? I hate that, so. I'm going to get a couple more actually, but I'm going to have to wait because I'm trying to save some money and... Okay. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm supposed to give him a shower, but like I know he's not in the mood. He does like, he's such a couch potato. He takes after me and he's going to hate me so bad. So I'm like going to wait until like the afternoon just to give him some time to like wake up. See, he's still getting up. I don't know where you learned this from. Me. Um... What I also need to do today is get a new mug, not a mug, a tumbler, like a cup for water because I had one. I took the cup down to a tufting class um, that I had yesterday um, to learn how to make a rug and it turned out really cute. I made a Groot, it's on the floor there. How cute, ignore my mess. Um, that's, yeah, that's my bra, I don't care. Um, and they wanted us to take a picture of our rugs before we left, and I put my rug, no, not my rug, my cup on the counter, and then, I don't know, I just, can you, can you give me a moment? <laughs> I left my, my cup on the counter, and then as soon as I'm like on the highway, like halfway home, I'm like, oh no, so I gotta get a new cup today, because I need a water cup, or else I'm not gonna drink water, you know what I mean? And who likes water bottles these days? I know what you're thinking, I know you see that cup behind you, but like, cup like I want one with a handle like I'm very specific my water cup needs to have a handle on it or like I can't like that's just for like leisurely play like juice at home sometimes a white claw or two and then you know what I mean like that's like leisurely drink I want a new cup and I probably want it maybe in black I don't know my coffee cup is black and I'm a sucker for like things that like match but do things have to match I don't know anyway <laughs> I'm going on for like four minutes straight talking about straight nonsense. So I don't know what I want to do first. Is what is why I picked up the phone first because I was trying to see if it would help me pick what to do first on the list of many things in my brain and all the paper that I wanted to do today. Excuse me. What should I do today first? This is what I go through every day, and this is why I literally don't do anything because I do, I can't. Okay, so here's the game plan. I've decided that I'm just gonna clean my room first and then I'm gonna go to Walmart to get a couple things that I need. So basically what I'm gonna do is just clean and as I figure out stuff that I need to go get from the store besides my new cup, um, I'm gonna add that to the list. So pretty much it's just kinda cleaning this whole mess up. I was gonna, I was making a pattern to make a dress. It didn't work out so then it made me upset. So I didn't, I didn't wanna sew anymore. So that's what the aftermath is over here. That's when I took my braids out i'm just gonna clean this entire mess up get just like put everything away and then i'm gonna make a list of what i need along the way and then i'm gonna go to the store that's what i'm gonna do for the next hour or so Okay, so the room for the most part is clean. I just have to throw away some trash. Um, it's just extra fabric that I just don't feel the need to organize or whatever. 
because they're always going to look like that. So that's that. Everything else is clean. I couldn't really find a place to put the rug that I made yesterday. So I did originally put it under here, but then I didn't like it. So we're just going to leave it here for now. I got this chair last week because the one that I had before it kept making this like obnoxious, like thudding sound. And this one now does not fit under my desk. So I can't push it underneath, which is like... I thought it was like a universal thing, like the lowest height it's gonna go is enough to fit under any sort of table. Anyway, that's annoying, so this chair is just gonna be in the way all the time now, which is, it's gonna be okay. So, I've decided I'm going to go get some Dunkin', some Dunkin' Donuts. He wants to get on the floor so bad. I'm gonna get some Dunkin' Donuts, and then I'm gonna go and head over to Walmart, and I'm gonna go to a new one that I haven't been to before. And I didn't know it was like in this area, a little further away, but I didn't know that there was one this opposite way. So let's see if I can find some goodies over there. Okay, so the original plan of going to the Walmart by my house that I've never been to um, backfired because it is a Walmart that only sells groceries. And I'm not going to be able to find a couple things that I'm looking for over there. So I changed my mind and I am at the original Walmart that I love going to. It is further out. I hate that, like, not all the Walmarts have the same, um, stuff in it, but what can we do? I'm wearing my sunglasses because I don't want nobody to look at me. I, like, have so much social anxiety. I haven't been around a lot of people in a hot minute. Like, I'm just, like, getting used to <laughs> being around people, but I do need to take my sunglasses off and change into my actual glasses glasses. So, I'm here. I ended up going to Dunkin' Donuts. I got the wrap that I wanted. I inhaled it in two seconds, so it didn't last that long. And then I got some iced coffee and stuff. So, I'm not going to vlog in there, only because, like I said, <laughs> I'm having social anxiety. And I already feel like people are watching me, even though I know they're not. But, like, it's just not going to happen. Don't expect anything. And if I do do something in there, you're welcome. But it's not happening. But, yeah. Just, this is going to be, like, a therapeutic little shopping kind of day. I'm only going mostly for the meal prep food that I, or the ingredients that I need for my meal prep because I'm trying to save money and like, you know, pre-plan and everything, but I'm getting that, a cup, a new cup for my water, and some other stuff that's on my list, and I'll probably show you when I get home. So yeah, see you after this. Alright, so this is what I got from Walmart today, yet somehow... <laughs> like 10 11 items ended up being 80 dollars don't ask me how but i think this and this was the most expensive anyways this was 15 this was 20 bucks it semi sort of resembles the cup i had before i think it's a little bit smaller up like here in this area but i got that i have some snackies i'm going to meal prep these turkey patties with some quinoa. I brought some extra just in case this was also expensive. They didn't have the one that I normally get, but there's that. Coffee creamer, juice, lotion, and wipes. I love wipes. I got eggs, because I like eggs as like a snack. I'll put all of this away and make myself a drink. Okay, so here's the deal. I've been wanting to make a video about like my clothing because I'm trying to get into fashion design. I've always wanted to like make things since like I think my first class I took was freshman year of high school and then since then I had a sewing machine like every other couple of years and I finally like now I have my machines, they're mine, I'm not gonna give them away and I like I wanna stay within the whole fashion industry bubble. So um I made these clothes and I didn't make them with with like a collection type thing per se. Like I just made them to make them. And then when I started to put them in my closet, I was like did I just like inadvertently, like by mistake, not even thinking, make a collection? Because somehow, some way, they managed to be all blue. Um, minus this brown one, which I kind of threw in. It wasn't part of the whole thing, but I kind of threw in because I feel like it just went with it. But yeah, I, f I figured why not show you my collection? And um, yeah, and try it on and stuff, maybe. I don't know. I'm still debating it. But. I do, I do want to create some sort of collection like down the line, but 
I don't know what I want to do yet. I don't know what fabrics I want to use. And like, I like to overthink, so I just want it to like come to me when it comes to me. But the collection that could have been, but never was, and isn't going to be because I have some stuff that I like to put on my website to sell. But like, these I want to keep. Like, these are mine. Like, I love these. Like, I made them in the beginning with the intention of like, mm, maybe I can like sell them. But like, now I don't want to at all. Like, these are my babies. I want to keep them. First things first, but I want to show you guys is this um, jacket. It's um, a jean jacket. I made these out of like four pairs of jeans. I went to this thrift store and I think I got like several pairs of jeans in different colors. I took two of them and made this part of the jacket. And then my mom was like throwing away these like flare jeans. And before they ended up in the trash, I like saw them. I was like, oh, give me. And I really made the sleeves out of both legs so as you can imagine these are the legs of jeans that I made into a sleeve and I hate sleeves sleeves is like my downfall I hate it I hate it so much like it's my worst enemy when it comes to sewing I don't know what it is I can't get a perfect sleeve lately I don't know but I'm so happy that somehow some way my brain and this was like my free thinking no pattern to it or anything I just kind of like so the squares and rectangles together and it became a jacket which I love very much obviously my outfit doesn't do this much justice um, but it is a very cute jacket I love it I almost wish I made a bucket hat for it but then I was like mm, too much jean on jean coming up so here it is it's wicked cute like there's no way that I would sell it like it's mine the next one is like, I was trying to like make a tank top that wasn't like a tank top if that makes sense. More like corsetti with like kind of like hardware for you to like be able to get in and out of. But I couldn't get the fabric, or not even the fabric, I couldn't get the pattern to work right where it would fit right. So this was I think attempt two of making this kind of style of um, tank top. And I don't hate it. I, I mean, it's cute. But um, it could have been better, but it is what it is. Um, I have yet to wear this. Most of the things I have yet to wear except for this. I've worn the jacket already. I've worn... Actually, I like this and this are like the only things that I haven't like worn, worn, like out, out since I've made them. Only because like it needs something. Like whatever I try to like put it on to make an outfit, it like doesn't work. Like it needs me to make something else to go with it. But I made two of those. That was the first one I made, and then I made this one. Um, it was originally gonna have like button buttons, with like buttonholes to get into, but working with Jean, that really wasn't going to happen. Obviously me wearing it over the shirt, this tank top doesn't do it justice, but I love it nonetheless. Um, I imagine wearing this with like um, a turtleneck. I imagine wearing this with like a turtleneck, maybe like a white turtleneck, but a black one wouldn't be so bad either. Actually, any color I don't think wouldn't be bad either. I would just have to like balance the bottom. And then same thing with this one, a black turtleneck, um, a white one even. Maybe not like maybe gray, maybe pink, like baby pink, but like a turtleneck like this is so cute. Okay, so I changed really quick just to like show you an example and I'm glad that I did because I would have never thought to like put this outfit together because literally these pants, these pants are like from a different kind of like sewing mini era if that makes any sense even though they weren't like that far apart in, produc in production. Anyways, I would have never thought to put this outfit kind of like together but like I'm glad that I did because this is kind of like, it's very cute. No, and all I need is like, let's see. So it would maybe be really good with like shoes like this, maybe, I don't know. But most definitely something like this with like a like a nice long black sock. But just for the heck of it. It kind of actually works. I kind of like it. I haven't really found like pants or like an outfit really that I can wear with these shoes because they make my ankle and my legs just look, it looks weird. I don't know. The back of my ankle just drives me nuts when I wear this. I also don't hate this either. I could like it just meant to be. Because these pants like don't have like an owner. Like usually when I make pants or like clothing in general, 
if I make like a pants and a top, I kind of like have to make a bottom for it with the same fabric, kind of like a matching set sort of thing. But the fact that I made this and like it kind of just kind of flows all together is really nice. It makes me feel really good. Also, I'm a pockets girl. I have pockets in the pants. I'm always gonna have pockets. For the most part, I'm gonna try to make sure that all of my clothing, 99% of them have pockets because ugh, I just want to be a pocket. Just, just like for like people with like anxiety like me, where they just need a place to put their hands and kind of like just fidget their fingers in their pockets. You know what I mean? Okay, so the next item that I want to talk about is like another tank kind of top that I made. I like the idea of having like easy to get into clothing. Um, they don't have to be stretched all the time, but they are very like easy to get into nice kind of fabric fitting sort of clothes, if that makes any sense. So I started out with the idea of just being able to like wear a tank top like this made out of like polyester material and stuff like that. And you know, just kind of making it cute. Obviously it's very simple and basic. I was learning how to make the pattern itself. Like I want to like draft my own patterns and not like buy McCall's or whatever from the like fabric store and like pattern. Like I want to make my own. I want, to ha I want it all to have like my own personal like touch of me getting a sense of like measurements and stuff. So that was this, my first attempt. I made bodice and did all of that. I freaking tried to do even my own, I think this is bias tape, I forget what it's called. <laughs> I'm self-taught, like I'm teaching myself. But I'm really proud of this. It even has my label in it, Miss Patel, so it's the name of my brand. It even has a size small in it. I try to do that with all of my clothing, even though most of it I'm going to wear myself. I just like to have that as like an extra, you know, I'm very proud of this. And then I made pants that go with them, which is just another kind of shorts that look like this, but they're just in the same fabric that I made the uh, top out of. Um, these have pockets, I love a good pocket. I try to like make sure that my pants have pockets lately. There have been like one or two that I've just like couldn't be bothered to put pockets in it, but I'm a pockets kind of girl. And then moving on from that, I was like, okay, I need a tank top. Now I want to make like a shirt. It doesn't have to be like a t-shirt kind of style, but I just want to be able to make a shirt with sleeves. And my arch nemesis, the, um, <laughs> the sleeves, we really had like a lot of like back and forth and arguing we finally settled on like this shape that I'm able to do. Um, it's gonna take me a long time to kind of like rediscover a jacket because I hate sleeves so much. It's just like fitting it is just, I don't know. There's something about sleeves and I'm sure it's probably the easiest thing to make, but sleeves and me were just not getting along. But what I was trying to say is that I wanted to venture into like a shirt kind of style, you know, like put some sleeves into something and also like an opening, like closure and stuff. Like I want to be able to like make it semi-form-fitting, not too much, but like if I need to like make an opening, like if I want to have like this kind of next neckline, I need to be able to like put in a zipper in order to, you know, allow entry for my head and stuff. So that was my first time experimenting with this, also with a self-drafted pattern, which I am very, very proud of. I ended up doing detailing inside where I put bias tape binding, I can't remember, <laughs> bias in here so that I can cover like the raw edges and stuff. Obviously my label has to go in there, put the zipper on the back. Um, I hate that I put the blue stitching on it now, but it was either that or tan, so I don't know. Maybe tan might have not looked so good, but overall, all in all, I kind of love it, so yeah. And then this last one was also just piggybacking off that look and I just wanted to make a second one. Real quick, before I started recording this video, I was looking for these pants that belong to this and I could not find them. Lo and behold, they're in here. I forget that I do that. I thought they were in a box because like I'm packing to like get ready to like move out. And I thought that I put these in there. And I didn't. I'm such a duck. But this I love like this so much. So like after like these are like like first tries, you know what I mean? Like I made this one first try and then like this was my second attempt and it was better. With this one, I can't remember if I made another top, but I was just like, yeah. like I, if I made it again, like I know it'd be perfect. Actually, this one was my second try out of the same fabric. I threw the first one away because the zipper was just god awful, and I, there was like no going in to fix it. Like I, no. and this one was like third time's a charm, and I was like so, like, I was just so good and confident in it that I even went ahead and made pants for it. Like once I make pants for it, like it's a done deal. 
because you got elephant. Same kind of style with the darts here. Um, the actual sleeve was actually like it got better the second time. I just kind of did a little pleat over here to kind of, kind of like gather yeah, up some of the extraness because I couldn't really figure out how to make it fit. This one actually doesn't have a zipper. It kind of just has like this lobster claw like clasp kind of thing, which I kind of like. Like I was just trying to like play around with like different like does it have to be a zipper? Maybe it could be a button. Or, you know what I mean? And then obviously to go along with it and actually for this one I was looking for pants and make pockets and this is the one that I did not make any um, pockets for it and I'm great regretting it now because I didn't think it was going to turn out really good I was just like F it let me just make another one to like practice and I kind of want to wear this out a lot more often but it doesn't have any pockets so when I wear it I'm going to be like miserable because those are not pockets so and yeah that's my collection um the sun started to go down as I was recording this it's almost like five o'clock and the sun starts to disappear at like four so if you didn't get a good view on it my apologies but um that's my collection I'm very happy with it um I'm gonna continue selling all these things and Okay, so I finished meal prepping and I made myself dinner. This is my dinner. It's a little Spanish American thing. Eggs, plantains, cheese, and chicken. And then I made macaroni, turkey burgers, quinoa, and black bean as like my lunch for the next four days. I didn't have enough macaroni, so I basically substituted three eggs for that day. And that's it. And I think that basically concludes this video. I'm gonna eat my dinner. I'm gonna work on this whole video and edit and stuff. Clean up my bed, have my drink, my little adult drink, and um, watch some TV and get ready for work tomorrow because tomorrow is Monday. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.